Good morning, YouTube family. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm Keisha. And right now my life is all about working on my health and losing weight. Today is grocery haul day because we haven't gone grocery shopping in a while. But first thing on food replenish day, we have to do some bread. So right here, I'm making some homemade English muffins. And I also have some sandwich bread ready to go. And these are both fermented sourdough. And not that, you know, my diet's super great, but you know, I found that eating sour homemade sourdough breads is far less painful on my gut than eating other breads. So this morning, first, that's what we're doing. This is still rising. So I'm gonna go put it back in the warm spot. So that'll still probably be at least another hour before it goes in the oven. And uh, right now, I'm just finishing off the other half of my English muffins. Uh, I got them in the oven just finishing baking, but then we'll have some fresh English muffins to go with breakfast or whatever we wanna eat them with. And so I already did half my grocery shopping, so let's go ahead and look at that now. All right, we're gonna start with the diet sodas that I bought. I accidentally deleted the actual grocery haul. Some apples and cuties. I bought some grapes. A couple of bags of frozen Brussels sprouts. I bought some skinny cow ice cream sandwiches. I bought some graham crackers and low sugar jelly for a Valentine's cheesecake recipe. I bought two of my favorite cereals. And then here I bought some uh, low carb tortillas, which are also these, these ones here, the thin corn tortillas. And I bought some rice cakes, a couple of plain, a couple of the caramel flavor, and one chocolate. All right, friends, my bread is rising, so I still need to get my workout in today. And it's my leg day workout, which is the same as the one I put in my last video. So if you haven't seen that, I will go ahead and link that here. So I already massaged my legs out. If you have not done self-massage, I highly recommend it. It was so good. I love doing it. It's released so much pain in my body. So I do it before, I do it after. On days that I don't do my workout, I do it before I go to bed. And if I'm just in extra pain or whatever, if I feel extra tightness, I just do it before I go to bed. So nice. Has relieved so much pain. Anyway, so a little bit of walking warm up and then I'll get to my other warm up leg openers. Anyways, yeah. So just that same kind of leg workout. It's pretty short. I don't do a lot. I'm not lifting a lot of weight right now. I'm trying to take it easy. Just trying to create consistency, discipline. There you go. All right, friends, the bread is done. I think it went a couple minutes too long. It's pretty dark, but let's see. Let's flip it out here. Oh no. Let me get a knife and try to cut around the sides. But workout's done today. Breads are done. And I'm gonna head out to the food cash store, which is our little mini Costco. I know I buttered this thing really good, so I don't know why it's having such an issue. Flip it out. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, so pretty. Yay. Okay, so my sandwich bread, my breakfast English muffins. So I'm set for bread for a few days, unless I wanna try tortillas, cause I haven't tried tortillas yet. But um, tonight we're having pizza for dinner and last time I made pizza dough, I had an extra, it made two pizza doughs, so I put one in the freezer. So we're having pizza tonight, sourdough pizza. And I have still uh, four pitas left. So when we have euros this next week, I've got my pita bread already made. So I'll have to catch up on that stuff again, but probably not until maybe the week after or something. I'm gonna go to the store, get hopefully the stuff for my salad, knock on wood that they have all the things that I wanna get there for produce, pick up my liquid IV, get my protein drink. I'm gonna head out to the store and when I get back, I'll share with you what I got. All right, friends, do not mind my huge messy kitchen in the background. I will get to cleaning that after I get all these groceries put away. Oh, but and at first, let's walk through what we got at the little mini Costco food cache today. 
We'll start with the obvious. I got a box of the Premier Protein, and I do have protein powder mixes in my pantry, but this is, I'm lazy right now. And I just want something that's quick and easy that I can grab when I need a quick snack, a quick extra boost of protein, and this is it for right now until, I don't know, until I feel like using the, my powder protein. I really don't like mixing protein drinks, so that's just easy for me. We got frozen veggies, because these are always easy, right? Broccoli and cauliflower. Got some bonza, because we have a lot of regular pasta, but this is the kind of pasta I like to eat when I'm, you know, trying to be healthy. <laughs> feel, it makes me feel better that it's got a lot of protein in it. Oh, gallon of milk, just because I was there, so I got a gallon of milk. My husband likes to drink milk. Got my liquid IV. Thought I would splurge on some frozen burger patties. I do have some hamburger meat, but I don't usually take the time to make hamburger patties out of them. So I bought some frozen hamburger patties. Always, always got to get a bag of avocados. That's a must. A cucumber. A little thing of honey. Went and picked up my mail. That's that. Thought I'd try some new stuff. And, um, well, I mean, they're new to me because I never buy this stuff. So I got some buffalo style boneless chicken bites. I thought that'd go good with our pizza tonight. My husband loves buffalo chicken, so big bag of that. Carrots. Onion. A little baby spaghetti squash. They didn't have my big bag of romaine, so I just got two heads of iceberg right now. They really didn't have a lot of lettuces that weren't salad kits, and I don't like spending money on salad kits. They're really expensive, and I really wanted a salad this weekend. They're not going to get another truck until, you know, for like four days, so there are two heads of iceberg lettuce. I could just make a salad with that. They did have a box of spring mix, but it was dated today and it looked a little sketchy. And, you know, those boxes are big. I didn't want to buy it and not have, be able to eat the whole thing in two days. So, uh, let's see. Oh, a big, huge thing of celery. I like to keep onions, celery, and carrots on hand because I like to make at least one pot of soup a week. Oh, here we go. Some tomatoes. I really like having tomatoes on a breakfast sandwich or a hamburger or whatever. Um, so, got tomatoes. More ranch dressing. I tried to get the Bolton House at the grocery store, but they were totally sold out because it was on sale. So their whole Bolton House selection was gone. Because that's what it's like when you live in a tiny town with one grocery store, you know, with one regular grocery store that has more products. Everything just flies off the shelf if it goes on sale. Half and half because coffee is life. And now that Sriracha is back, I buy one of these pretty much every time I go over there because we like to keep a back stock. Yogurt because I don't always go through a plain yogurt, but these last couple weeks I found that I've been like using it for a lot of different things. And I love it in my overnight oats. I want to make overnight oats. Love plain Greek yogurt for that. Sour cream because we eat a lot of Mexican food. I like a lot of sour cream. I mean, you know, use it for other dishes and things like that too. So just sour cream, Greek yogurt, and they last a long time. So, I mean, not only are these, you know, dated like a month from now, but they last well beyond the expiration date. So these will probably last me at least the month. Unless for some crazy reason I'm making a weird recipe that requires a lot of it. But usually these will last me about a month. So, bag of chicken tenders. This is just a super easy way for me to eat chicken and cook chicken. And I can either make it on a daily basis or I can make a bunch ahead of time and stick it in the fridge. I just love these bags of chicken tenders. And honestly, I buy the chicken tenders instead of the breasts because they're freaking A cheaper. And I'm going to try something new. Honestly, I'm not really a huge seafood eater. So on the occasions that I do eat halibut and salmon, it's like maybe once a week. And that's because I kind of force myself to do it because it's in our freezer. 
So I thought I'd try something new because it's really high in protein, very lean. Shrimp. So getting some shrimp, maybe, you know, use it in a stir fry, a salad, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use it in, but I'm going to try to eat some shrimp. Maybe just, you know, one serving a week or something. We'll see how I like it. So there you have it. There's the haul. Oh yeah, let's organize this for like a picture, huh? Well, I am pooped out today. Literally, I just need to put all of these groceries away, get my kitchen cleaned up a bit. I'm gonna make a pizza, cook a few of these in the air fryer, and I'm gonna call it a night because I'm pooped. I'm wiped out. Next up is weigh-in day, and I'm sure you will get to see me use some of my grocery haul on weigh-in day. And until then, I will leave some videos here for you to watch next so we can hang out longer. And I really appreciate you all for hanging out with me this long. This has just been an incredible adventure. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do that now. That way we can get together on weigh-in day and hang out and you can see how I'm using some of these foods. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye.